there was a time in the city of Buffalo where teachers felt like they did not have the things that they needed to teach effectively, that they did not have a living wage, they did not have the resources they need, and the city told them there was no money to solve their problem. And the teachers decided that in order for them to solve their problem, they had to challenge the structure in order to make it meet their needs. In a historical context, this was going on in 1946 when there were three million um, private sector workers who had went on strike. But up until that point, no public sector unions had went on strike. You know what the first public sector union that went on strike was? Buffalo's Teachers Federation, 1947. They started negotiating, and they started talking to people. And you know what people started doing when they was negotiating with them? They were saying, point at the state. No, the state, the state can do it. They ain't got enough, we ain't got enough money locally to do it. The state is the problem. You know what the state was doing? That's up to the local. That's the, they ain't got nothing to do with us. They was all pointing the fingers at each other. The teachers, you know what the teacher said? The teacher said, we don't know where the problem is at, but we know what we're not going to do is participate in the problem. So for the first time in the history of the country, a public sector union went on strike. They went on strike with the intention of going on strike for one day. They said that they were willing to not participate in a system that was broken, that couldn't meet their needs. We got that same crossroads today as parents. Because the same thing that was true for teachers is true for us. Some of the teachers was all right. Just like some of our students are all right. And some of our parents are all right. But all of them are not. And we've lived in the district way too long where we allow, where we're happy for the people who have, like most of the people have not. And so the teachers came together as a unit. They, they became unified. Do you think it was all the teachers when they became unified? No. no. Go down on the paper. You will see that in the beginning of their strike, all the teachers didn't do it. There was 2,434 teachers that did not report to work out of almost 3,000 teachers. So it was a significant portion of teachers that did go. So what I'm going to ask is, it may, everybody may not see a need to participate in it, but in the beginning of things, everybody doesn't necessarily participate, right? They decided to go out on strike. And the first day they went on a strike, the mayor said to the Teachers Federation, here's my solution to your problem. Go back to work tomorrow. That's what he told them to do. There is no money to solve your problem. Go back to work tomorrow. So they tested, they tested the teacher's resolve. What did the teacher say? No. Not only did they say, no, we're not going back to work tomorrow. I'll say that again. More teachers joined. And the second day, they called a second day of the strike. And then the mayor, instead of talking to the teachers, guess what he did? He went to talk to the governor. and said, governor, you got to help us solve this problem. Because the teachers ain't going back to work unless they get what they want. That's what he said to them. You know what the governor said? We ain't got no money. Tell the teachers to go back to work. So the governor showed up and he said to the teachers, go back to work. You know what the, parents, the teacher said? No. And guess what happened the next day? More teachers came and then Unions all across the country. The teachers said, we ain't delivering to those schools. And every, all the other, they all got together and they began to unify as a family of unions and said, none of us is going to support it until you support them. So now they're into the fourth day of a strike. And so you know what the governor and the mayor did? They got together and said, okay, y'all, we got to do something. That's what they said. And then in the fifth day of the strike, you know what they came with? They came with an offer. They came, all of a 
a sudden they found some money. They came with an offer and said, this is what we're willing to offer you. Now remember at the beginning of this conversation what they was willing to offer? Nothing. No, they was willing to offer something at the beginning of the conversation. They was willing to offer blame. They was willing to offer excuses. Right. 